Hello and welcome to today's Bitcoin price prediction video. And yes, Bitcoin is currently still trading in a horizontal range, but in this video, we are going to talk about why there could be a lot of people wrecked if we do see another rotation towards the upside. And on top of that, I need to show you where millions of US dollars can get wiped out of the market if there is going to be a huge rejection towards the downside very, very soon. Because what you're going to see... First of all, when Bitcoin got a push towards the upside, we got a rejection almost exactly at the top of our horizontal range at 21,700 US dollars. And remember, this specific area was very important level of resistance because we can also identify at this level also our golden Fibonacci ratio. And guess what? At our golden pocket right here, people getting completely, completely wrecked. Exactly at the top, we formed a significant wick towards the upside, open interest pushed towards the downside, with buying pressure coming into the market, not able to push the price higher. That is the reason why we got a wick towards the upside. When everyone gets wrecked, only then we might expect a rotation back towards the downside. So you're clearly going to see the top of the range, our level of resistance, very, very nicely respected. And on top of that, what we can also do in our horizontal range is going to be measured the volume levels. What you can see is that our value area low has been respected also very, very nicely. But there comes another very important problem with our previous lows. If we do have right now very equal lows at the area of 20,900 US dollars, there simply is going to be a lot of liquidity at this specific area because what we can right now identify those lows that we have been forming for the past couple of days are very very similar we have first low here another low another low and another low so we have four lows formed for the past couple of days going on the four hour time frame we can identify another low at very very similar price at this specific area so there comes a catch if bitcoin does right now see a push towards the downside People that are right now holding their long positions most probably have their stop loss exactly below the previous lows. So potentially we wreck them. Millions of US dollars most probably is going to be wiped out of the market. And if then there is going to be a reaction towards the upside with open interest decrease, definitely bullish indication. And only then we might expect a breakout towards the upside out of our horizontal range. And there is the exact same thing at the top of our horizontal range range. If Bitcoin, for example, right now does see a push towards the upside, we have first high right here and also our previous highs exactly at this specific area. Push towards the upside, grab liquidity and only then potentially see another push towards downside. Later in the video, I am going to talk about the trading ideas, how we can take advantage of the liquidity in the market. But right now we need to talk about something even more important. A couple of days ago, or actually a couple of hours ago on Twitter, I, uh, I actually said to you that I would be looking for the stock market to potentially form some kind of a correction in the upcoming days. And of course, you can see right here, 0.382 Fibonacci retracement level that was hit a couple of hours ago almost perfectly. So when we are looking at this specific push towards downside, of course, you can notice on this picture that I was saying that potentially we might expect five wave structure towards the downside. Currently on the two hour time frame, yes, I would say we can already identify five wave structure. First push towards downside, correction, another push towards downside, correction, and of course, another push towards downside, potentially completing our five wave structure towards downside. Now, personally, I would prefer another lag towards downside. Why so? When we are talking about our fourth elite wave, usually it takes longer than an impulse towards the downside. So I would right now prefer for the stock market, NASDAQ for example, to still trade at this specific area, see another push towards the downside, grab liquidity below our previous lows, take Bitcoin with it. That being said, we do see another push towards the downside, take liquidity below our previous lows, and only then potentially see another potential reaction towards the upside. That is exactly what personally I would right now prefer to happen on the stock market and of course also on the Bitcoin price. First of all, grab liquidity and only then potentially do see this three wave structure back towards the upside. Now, I would say like that. If the stock market, for example, is going to start creating a higher high here in the upcoming days after completing the ABC correction right here, we need to pay attention to Bitcoin because if Bitcoin, for example, is not going to be creating a higher high right here, while the stock market is going to be creating a higher high, 
it could be super bearish indication for Bitcoin. And most probably then we are looking for another significant impulsive push towards downside in the upcoming day. So I would just like to say, pay attention to the stock market and definitely pay attention if Bitcoin is going to be able to grab liquidity, maybe above the highs, maybe also below our previous lows. Before we talk about another pattern that could be identified on the Bitcoin price, if you haven't already, please smash up the like button right now because the goal for this video would actually be to reach not 650, but let's just say 670 likes on this specific video. Thank you very much if you right now actually smashed the like button. On the one hour time frame, one could right now argue with me that we are clearly not trading in the range right here. One could say Bitcoin is forming the left shoulder right here, head right here, and also the right shoulder. Clearly, it could be some kind of a head and shoulders pattern. First of all, head and shoulders pattern is a reversal pattern. After we are going higher and higher and higher, we start forming head and shoulders pattern, and then we do see a reversal towards downside. Currently, what you can see, head and shoulders that maybe some people are right now identifying is being formed after a push towards downside. In my opinion, definitely not a valid pattern. But I would actually say on the four hour time frame, we can definitely see that volume right here on Bitcoin is going lower and lower and lower. Less people are prepared to trade Bitcoin at this specific area. So what I would really like to see, preferably also with the stock market following, push towards the downside, high volume increase, high or actually big wick towards the downside with the reaction up, and then potentially, of course, continue our way towards the upside right here on the Bitcoin price. Now, I need to show you, if Bitcoin does see a rejection at this specific area, yes, I would say we have a very nice reason why potentially we do see a rejection right here towards the downside, is because if we go on the daily time frame, we can actually identify a brand new daily level of resistance exactly at the area where Bitcoin got a rejection off of. We can see this was our daily high term time frame level of resistance at 21,500 US dollars and we hit the level literally a couple of minutes ago with also breaking through our previous high. Take the liquidity, we are at the level of resistance and of course if Bitcoin right now does see a rejection towards downside it would definitely not surprise me. But what we can also right now say, if for example the stock market actually finished our five wave structure towards downside. You can actually see right here, one, two, three, four, five. As I said before, we could potentially identify five wave structure, but I would preferably like to see another take out the loss right here and potentially then only continue higher if we are right now already finishing the five wave structure right here and we do see a push towards the upside. Of course, we need to be aware of a very important level of resistance on the Bitcoin price. First of all, on the four hour time frame, we can identify the fair value gap or the imbalances. This level of resistance is going to come up at 22,300 US dollars, where you can also identify our previous low. So what we can do, we have the first low right here, expanding this one to this low. And we also do have, of course, our level of resistance with our previous lows at the area of the 50% of the fair value gap on the Bitcoin price. And of course, if we do actually right to see a pump towards the upside, our next level of resistance to pay attention to 22,300 US dollars. Now, before we talk about brand new weekly level on Bitcoin, and before we go into the trading ideas, if you would like to trade Bitcoin and Ethereum with us, there are insane free bonuses you can be getting right now. On the BitGet exchange, you can be getting more than 4,000 US dollars for free in trading bonus. Sign up with this specific link after initial deposit, you get the bonus, you can trade wood bonus, and we draw the profits to your own wallet. All of the free major bonuses are available down below for you for free in the description. This exchange also offers copy trading so make sure you take advantage of that but right now i need to share with you because our weekly level a couple of days ago or actually on monday was close to red as you can see right here we did confirm a brand new weekly high term time frame level of resistance at 24,300 us dollars that is going to be another super important key level at the moment i would say it's not as important because we are not really trading very close to it but nevertheless please mate Pay attention to this level if there is going to be a rotation towards the upside because it is actually going to be weekly high term time frame level of resistance we should always pay attention to. On the 4 hour time frame currently, if we go with the line chart and go with the RSI indicator, we can identify hidden bearish divergence being formed on the Bitcoin price as we speak. We can clearly see we are forming lower highs looking at the candle closes, of course, with the line chart, but we are forming a significant higher high on the RSI indicator. What does it mean? It is going to be hidden bearish divergence forming right now 
on the Bitcoin price. So how would I approach right now the Bitcoin price to potentially trade right now in this specific scenario? So as I said before, we should always pay attention to the liquidity levels. And currently we do have, in my opinion, the best level to break, of course, would be our previous low right here at 20,700 with a combination with the stock market also taking out our previous lows right here and only then see a push towards the up. So of course, this would be ideal scenario what I would like to see, but nevertheless, Pay attention to the previous lows and always remember, when we are trading in a horizontal range, we are not getting bullish at the top of the range. We are not getting bearish at the bottom of the range. We are bullish at the bottom of the range, potentially interested going with a long or a buying position, of course, still have a stop loss right here because, of course, potentially the range is going to maybe break towards downside, maybe to break towards the upside. But nevertheless, until we are in our range, we are trading the range right here and we are bullish trading the swing failure patterns below our previous lows. Pay attention to the open interest. Is open interest decreasing? If so, on a push towards downside, on a reaction towards the upset right here, bullish indication, and only then I would be potentially firing a long or a buying position on the Bitcoin price. And the exact same thing is going to be at the top of the range right here. Let me show you something also very, very important. On the 30 minute time frame, what we can actually do, Fibonacci retracement, we are going to go from swing high to swing low, and we are going to enable 0.786 Fibonacci retracement level, which you're going to see is going to be exactly above our previous high. We do have right here Fibonacci level, previous high for liquidity purposes and if then there is going to be a reaction towards the downside with the wake very similar to what we actually got a couple of days ago when everyone actually got wrecked with the buying pressure coming into the market and open interest decrease right here bearish and only then i would fire on our short or a sell position on the bitcoin price but once again right here Yes, it would be very bullish on Bitcoin if we do see a break towards the upside. But of course, remember, I am not trading the breakout towards the upside. Successful breakout would actually look like we need to see volume increase right here. We need to see open interest increase that said money is coming into the market. And of course, reaction that said we need to see a green candle towards the upside. Then, of course, this is going to be valid breakout on Bitcoin. I am not trading that. Of course, then I would only potentially be uh, interested going with a short position as a before on a reaction at our previous lows at the area of 22,300. Now, just remember, if there is a push towards the upside, towards 22,300, the top of our horizontal range is then going to turn into our level of support. And only right here, I might be looking for a long on a potential higher low. But definitely at the levels of resistances, we are bearish. At the levels of support, we are bullish, potentially looking for a long or a buying position. So if millions of people are going to get wrecked at the lows right here, if Bitcoin does see right now rotation towards downside with a reaction up, I would definitely be more than happy to actually go with another buy or a long position right Right here on the Bitcoin price. And if you haven't already right now, please smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day. Peace out.